cool, cool, cool. Good to know, good to know. Very nice. Not ominous at all. No problem. This may have been slightly over aggressive. Now nah, we're fine. Mostly. All right. Let's look around over here. We haven't really, uh, That the game is set up in such a way that I will eventually learn how to spend money. Or where to spend money. How does one go about reaching such a location as this? See, this game, this is interesting because it's like, well, I've been there. Did I miss something that was obvious or did I miss something that I was intended to miss because that's the way the game is designed? The sprint is actually like, I wouldn't say hard to control, but it's interesting. It was obvious, cool. That sounds like me. Okay. Oh! Oh, it was a thing I ran from, wasn't it? It was, it was, it was super skeleton bone god. Look, it scared me! Okay? I don't trust anything. I don't take any of this shit at face value. A little spooky. I was, just a little, I was just a little spooked out. Also, we're on the beach now. Oh man, that's so, that's so damn satisfying. Also, nope, none of those buttons. This button. Didn't even occur to me that that would be a usable item. Oh, that's, a, that's an explosive bomb, I guess. Throw enough bombs, you get a prize. Don't be afraid to use them. That was a really effective, si that was an incredibly effective silence. I mean, I feel like there's no way that goes well for me. Okay. Well, that's not really listed on any of my uh, current map stuff.
I definitely, Coop, uh, Cooper Fox, I am definitely with you on the whole, like, owning your death count thing. Because it's like, the, the death count going up is like, this is how much I've learned, and this is how much persistence I've shown sticking with it, even though it's given me a hard time. I'm totally down with that, but I'm still really careful with the first one. Whoa. That's really cool that it gives you, it shows you like how vast this area is, but it's out of focus. So you can't see any real significant detail. So it's like eventually with this game, you will see me get to the point where I am just throwing myself at things and dying repeatedly with no regard for anything. But until we get to that point, and especially until I know what the penalty for dying actually is, you're gonna see me be pretty damn cautious with the first one. Holy shit. Gun. Power of gun. Uh-oh. Nope. Nope. Ow! Holy shit, they are not gonna let me nope. Yo, fuck all the way entirely off. Not you, Raiders! Hi, welcome! <laughs> welcome in! How was Minecraft? <laughs> I've, I've run into a place... <laughs> Hi, welcome to Tunic! I've discovered this place for the first time, and I'm being chased around by, by Bloodborne ghost hunters. And they're shooting laser guns at me, and I don't want them to. I'm trying to run, and they don't want me to do that. So I said some things at them roughly around the time all of you joined. So uh, apologies for that. I would like for you to stay and enjoy the environs and the dulcet tones of Tunic, which I have mostly not been swearing at. Um, <laughs> hi everyone, welcome in, uh, thank you so much for the raid, um, Will or whoever else it may be today, <laughs> um, I'm Time Wanderer, I've been a fan of Extra Credits for a long time. Um, I like to play a lot of weird indie stuff and weird retro stuff, and, um, hey, Will, how's it going? And, uh, I am, uh, I've been playing Tunic for a grand total of about an hour and a half, and this is where we're at now. Here, right here, right here, running very fast because no, all of no, all of all of the no, please no, stop! You have to have like a range of influence. There's got to be a point. Okay, a screen transition is that point. Like. Even in Dark Souls, there's like a, there's a radius where things are like, nah, that's pretty far. I was just talking about that. I was just talking about this before you guys got here. Um, I haven't died yet, and I know I'm going to. This is not 
going to be a deathless playthrough of Tunic. I'm not, I, I have no misconceptions that that's going to happen, but it hasn't happened yet. And so until it does, I'm being extra careful because like, you know, it's deathless till it's not, right? So I'm being extra cowardly. But then once we break the seal on it, I'm just gonna throw myself into death's embrace and repeatedly and not care. Um, if you've played Tunic and you'd like to know how far along we are right now, um, this should help. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and we have the sword. That's that's what we got. Oh, it's gonna happen. We've come real close. I went down here, right down there in that bottom left corner. That, uh, that uh, little John dude on the bridge with the with his with his spear and shield. The one who is clear is the one who's like clearly there to be like have a shield when you look at me or get the hell out. Um, he told me to get the hell out and I did. And I ran back to the checkpoint with uh, with Magic Pixel, but it wasn't a death yet. But I, I, I know it'll happen. Um, I did walk in here. And I got very scared and I left. And then people told me that it was a shop and that I was a coward, but I was scared. I was, I was scared. I thought I walked in and I was like, you know what? I don't understand enough of what's going on in this game to feel like I am ready for like to pay, to choose between these things and pay some sort of blood sacrifice for it. But it should be fine. Can I talk to the shopkeeper? No, he just kind of looks at me. That's fine. I'm curious about if this is a new flask or if this is a flask replenishment. But we got money, so let's... 300's... 300 is a lot for a replenishment. Three? Maybe... Yeah! Worth. <laughs> that would be a good compilation. Hey, absolutely... Go take care of yourself and find sustenance. I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for bringing the uh, bringing the fam over. I am enjoying Tunic and will continue to enjoy Tunic. And I hope the Raiders stick around to enjoy Tunic for a bit as well. Let's buy some of these too. Sure, why not? So that is just a replenishment. I don't know how to use those bombs. Well, I mean, you hit the button to use the bombs, but I don't know what they do. Yes, no, but I, yes. I understand the function of a bomb. I don't understand the function of all of the bombs. Because there are three different types of bombs that appear to have like elemental affinities attached to them. And I don't know how those are going to play out, but I think it's safe to assume that in all cases, 
there will be some manner of explosion. The question we have to determine is, but why though? Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? They can hit, oh my God. They can hit each other. Oh, I'm so happy. That is like one of my favorite things in a video game is like win with positioning. Win with positioning and intelligence. Make them hit each other. Oh, wow, did I not notice this? That's the best. Ow. Ow. Oh. Oh, I'm so happy. Those swings are so wide and abusable. Oh, we are, we are, I'm calling it right now. We are 100% at some point over the course of playing this game, going to take an unnecessary death because of my insistence on using friendly fire instead of just hitting the damn thing. And Nova, it's fine. You can be mean. Within acceptable limits. No. We found progress, but it scares me. But at least I don't have to fight him on a bridge now. Health mostly fine. Oh God. Yeah, okay, no. down a flask, but we still have two. You know what? Good time to try this out. Very effective. Do it again. Why fight? Why do fight when can bomb? Bomb, bomb cost money. Shield man, give money. Bomb to shield man, get money, more bomb. Profit. Why? Why is this like this? camera like so fixated on this area. <sighs> I don't. Oh God, everything hurts more when I'm tired.
Is that what that song was? Guys? Friends? Guys, gals, non-binary pals? Why do I have pink crystal opium? Or chewed gum. We went different directions with that. That's okay. Do I give that to a witch in a secret underground location and she makes it into medicine for me? Hold on, there's a rhythm here. You have my attention. That's awesome. That is so good. If you're paying attention, that little bird was there and you think it's an enemy. And maybe it is, maybe it'll fight you at some point. But what it did is run away from you. But it ran away from you this way. Literally positioned there. Did that bird just drown itself? I didn't do that, I'm just standing here. So it's positioned there specifically to run away from you in this direction to show you that this path exists. Well, we've obtained a tunic opening your menu does not pause the game. Okay, plus one to the Dark Souls column. Very cool. I mean, sort of cool. It's not my favorite thing about Dark Souls. I wish it just had a pause button, but it says something very specific about the design of the game, <coughs> excuse me, that they sort of expect you to be using the inventory on the fly. Like, you can't just go in and menu while things are happening. Yeah, this one then. So actually, best of both. There is a pause button, so you can pause the game if you need to, like, I don't know, like, get up and answer the door. Oh, shit! Whoa! Absolute. Let me up. Okay. Sure would enjoy a shield. Get the hell out. Oh, hey, that feels like it probably 
probably would. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. That looks like it would probably have been useful earlier, because I feel like you can set it down as like a decoy. What did the manual call it? That's not the manual. I swear I'll learn where these buttons are eventually. Uh, here. A lure, yeah. Ah, oh, no! Oh. Oh. Yeah, just for argument's sake. What if we were to like... Just, just, you know. Just not like a, um, as a matter of general principle, right? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I can't clap too loud. Or these idiots will pop off. She's wait, she's looking for an excuse to do it right now as we speak. This one too. But it's definitely applause worthy. Because that, that's something you can find on your own. That's just a sneaky little shortcut. That's just there. You don't have to unlock it. You don't have to do anything from the other side of it, I don't think. Yeah, that was there the whole time. Like, you could have found it just by doing this because you were exploring around basically at any time. But you go do it from the other direction. Like, it's just a shortcut. It doesn't take you anywhere new. But it shows you that this path is here. Even during opening animations? Oh, geez, what have we come to? Okay, back we go. Again, haven't died yet. So we are playing extra coward mode. Yeah, the no, but the exact thing that comes to mind and this, uh... I don't know if how many people this reference will land, will, uh, will land for, but it's... The exact cadence is Sally Field at the end of Mrs. Doubtfire. The whole time, the whole time, the whole time!
it's it's that. That's the that's the mood. <laughs> hey, you know what, other guy? I appreciate you. I appreciate you being here long enough for four thousand butter sword points. All right, we are admittedly a bit lost now. The thing is, there are a couple of areas that I've been to and noped out of because I felt wrong. Um, it felt too early. And now I'm starting to wonder if I just need to put my head down and go. It feels like the game is sort of pushing me in the direction of, like, find a shield and then go to these places. Because I'm running into a lot of things that I really feel like I should have a shield for. Do I know what the thing I got from Exploding Stabby Shieldy does? Oh, I got a key! I completely forgot I picked up it. Wait. Yeah, I picked up a key. Okay. Yeah, I know what it does. Yeah, that stabby shieldy. It's so Dark Souls, you can even do the enemy run back. I don't know, 100%? Oh, there it is. Yes. Amazing. No safety. Shield. It's a shield, isn't it? Yo, this music is phenomenal. It is not a shield. That is the life savings of a child. But there are stairs. Oh, fuck this. I thought that was an exit, but it's not. Fine. Don't fuck this. It is a shield, just with extra steps. Okay. Press Ert to shield. Yeah, that's how I want that to feel. That's exactly how I want that to feel. Yep, mm-hmm, good. Good, perfect. Sal, you should play it. Like, I'm not even gonna, like, rave about it. It's not, like, I'm not even gonna sell you on it. I'm not gonna tell you anything about it. Just casually, you should play it. You should play it. Not, yep, yeah, not gonna sell him on it. Behind the waterfall? Behind the waterfall. Is this also? T 
twice in the last 10 minutes. Twice in the last 10 minutes. In air, like, what is it? Like, they're like 10 feet apart from each other. Just think how many other I've missed. Don't you dare. What the shit? What the hell is that? That doesn't fit it. That's not any of these. Oh, I see. Is Toof. I guess it goes over here in the question mark items section. Well, they can't be used out of place at least, so that's a comfort. Oh, shit. Whoa. Okay, let's observe. Maybe use the shield a bit. Okay, shield good. More behind the waterfall shenanigans. Oh my God. This game is actually like, if they start throwing too many more of these like little hidden path geometric shortcuts and, and things, like it's actually gonna start stressing me out. Like it is gonna it is gonna slow the entire pace of the game to an absolute crawl. Because I am going to have to just like exterior collision the entire game. Awesome. What if? Okay, no, nothing, none of that. Okay, got it, cool. Later then. Yeah, I've got the, I, I'm sitting here, I've got the La Mulana notebook. It's closed, I haven't written anything in it, but I readied it for this experience just in case. But like, what is there to even write down? I could write down all the features of the art language. Oh, that's so good. Don't, don't misunderstand me. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, there's not even any like. Okay, carrot or be pepper or bendy carrot. Sick. So I'm not saying that this game doesn't have secrets and things that like, that should be noted. It's that like, the information being presented is like, I, I don't know how to record it accurately in a way that would be helpful to me. Oh boy, that is like 
There it is. That's one. Shoutouts to repeatedly trying to put up my shield and face the laser so that I could block. And, um... Hey, thank you for those. Cheer for the fox. Cheer for the fox. I'm mad about that because I had the shield and kept trying to put it up and it decided that I wanted to focus on the guy on the other side that wasn't a threat to me. So I just kept getting shot in the back. That happened like three times. So we're back to this again. Does this mean that I died when I went in the shrine the first time? Change charges while locked on with the right stick. Okay. Noted. Achievement unlocked. What just happened? I'm sure we'll find out later. Do we have to go through that every time we die? Or is that just like a first time thing? Also, where was I going? Okay, first time only. Got it. See, I was right to treat the first death with some reverence. It was special. I'm still a little upset the first one came to like a simple targeting error instead of like a cool boss or something, but you know. It was a good first run. Um, I kind of got what I wanted from over there. So let's see what's in here. Oh, yeah, no, this looks safe. Does that mean I'm going to fling myself recklessly into danger now? What does it look like, Nova? Whoa. Okay, yeah, this is not meant to be done like this. Glowy eye enemies I can deal with. <laughs> invisible, invisible timing. Whoops, wrong, wrong R button. Invisible timing based uh, spike platforming puzzles. Now nah, we'll wait on a lamp for that. This isn't linked to the past. I don't have those rooms memorized yet. All right, so we were over here. Aha. Uh -huh.
All right, important note. Currently, all the wrong. We have 543. They're like heat seeking. Wrong button again. 560. 543, 550. I lost 20? Oh, that's... Oh, that's extremely cheap. That's... That's not even a little bit punishing. I, I can take those all day. Yes, hello? Flowers! Yeah, you get like depending on what you're fighting, you get 20 back real fast. And I'm sure pro I'm sure even faster once you get later in the game. I mean, I appreciate that cuz the game has a the game's got a reputation for being difficult, so Wait. Okay, yeah, no. Difficult, difficult, not punishing. It's like if you're in one spot and you're die and you're going to die, you know, 10, 20, 30 times to the same thing, you'll feel it. But just taking one bad beat to a turret like that, not a big deal. This is the way back to, uh... Wow, that recoil. Wow, the recoil! Wow, that is not as efficient as I might have hoped. Maybe this will be better. Oh, oh boy. Okay, shield does not help this situation as much as I might have hoped. Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo! I suppose it is time for bomb, cause damn! Fuck! Oh, the shield is gone. Oh. Oh, that's... Intriguing. All right. These are all these things are all going to be important to me eventually. But eventually is not now. That, that's what it is. It looks like a coaster. Why does it why is it a coaster?
Any chance of finding a checkpoint over here? You know, because of, like, the little bit that I've heard about this game, and the sheer audacity of this meta-narrative shit here, I can't take anything in this game at, at face value. So, like... The tunic thing, because you're in, like, a Link tunic, but also there's tuning forks. Like, that feels significant. There is, you know, there's some hints of, of meta, like... There's some hints of, of, of a meta narrative where it might be like a, you know... You're in a self-aware game type of situation. This whole juxtaposition between, like, broken techno-future infrastructure and just an actual, like, versus just this little idyllic fantasy world town with your dark forest and everything. Like, all of this has gotten me thinking about weird meta-narrative stuff that the game may or may not be doing. I know it could be dashing. I don't trust this enough to dash. There is a checkpoint. It's dead.